Operators and welcome back to Inside Swoop in 90. My name is Bruno Kopchler here with this week's Midday News Update. Starting off in Afghanistan, earlier today an explosion went off in Kabul at the entrance of a military hospital. The blast killed three people and wounded at least 16 others according to local health officials. Local residents also reported two explosions in the area as well as sounds of gunfire. No one has claimed responsibility of the attack as of now. However, according to a report from the Associated Press, IS, an Islamic State group who rivals the Taliban, have stepped up their attacks on the Taliban since they took control of Afghanistan. Now, back in the States, across the country, voters will pick new city leaders today. Some key players tonight are the mayoral race in New York City between former police captain and Democrat Eric Adams and Republican Curtis Sliwa, founder of the Guardian Angels Anti-Crime Patrol. A report from AP says that Adams is expected to win. Also across the state in Buffalo, Democratic Socialist India Walton is running in a rematch against incumbent Mayor Byron Brown. Brown is running as a write-in candidate since he lost the primary to Walton earlier in the summer. Ending today, President Joe Biden spoke at the UN Climate Summit about the importance of preserving forests in the fight against climate change. Yesterday, President Biden also spoke about his goal to put the United States on a path to have its output of coal, oil, and natural gas pollution by 2050. However, troubles back in the states shadow his efforts abroad. Currently, Biden's $1.75 trillion infrastructure proposal is still in the House. In that plan, $555 billion are meant to be spent on provisions to combat climate change. Well, Ospreys, that's it for this edition of Inside Swoop in 90. I'm Bruno Capsulari, and thank you all for watching.